Hey. Hey, hello. Welcome back. Game number two, LFY versus IG, the International 2017. We're in Group B, Group Stages, Day 2. And uh, this is Game 2. And LFY took Game 1 and kind of made it look easy here with Blitz. I'm Shiva. Blitz, we have ourselves a very different game already. We criticized the Oracle previous game a bit, where Baboka was just a bit passive because that's what he does. That's what you do as an Oracle. Uh, it's not really Baboka's fault per se, but uh, this is the hero that... Whose fault is it then? Is it Q's for drafting it for him? Um, well, it's a bit of both. Mm -hmm. Combination. Mm -hmm. You can never blame something on one person in the game. That's true. As somebody who worked with the team extensively, it's pretty split. Yeah. There, like, there's always you know nobody like nobody plays it perfect game. Yeah. So you can always blame someone, but blame the captain. Blame the captain. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, but this time you got ourselves we got ourselves an Earth Spirit, and that's a hero that Baboka got big with. Yeah, but at the same time, I think Earth Spirit so far has been like really mediocre. Yeah, he's not been great, but it's Baboka Earth Spirit. Is that? So? I, I might be hyping this up a little bit too much, but I saw Jerex lose with this hero earlier, so nothing is safe. Nothing is safe. Nothing is safe. And I thought Jarek's Earth Spirit was like... The bomb. Yeah, it was. it is the bomb. It is the bomb. So that's why I'm I'm inclined to believe that the hero... The hero something is, is amiss. Yeah. Um, I actually... I, I talked to Lil about, uh, about, about the Earth Spirit. Uh, specifically. And he said basically, like, it's a non-hero because you know exactly what he's going to do. He's very predictable at this point. He's he, very, goes mid. He, go, <laughs> he goes mid. He goes mid. And he he really wasn't too bothered by it. Now, granted, this was the key of major that I talked to him about this, but he didn't really care about our spirit. He's like, it's whatever. Clearly, they knew it was up because they got second at that major. Yeah. You know, uh, on a side note about Nil Lil, it's like I like the villain act. I like when VP calls people bad or cocky. You know, when they're cocky and stuff. Yeah. I wish they would just embrace it fully. <laughs> You know, sometimes Lil, I, I follow him on Twitter, he gets offended when people call him after they lose, they're like happy. Yeah. That VP is like, I don't understand why people dislike us. I was just, you know, being... And I'm like, come on, man. You just got to say, like, screw the haters. Like, you guys feed me. We got last, so what? You know, I think that more teams in Dota should do that. Because that will be more public and more outspoken. Be that in, in the VP way. Be that in a different way. because then If you VP could... did it, but they did it fully. You know, they yeah. just embraced it. They're like, we hate everyone. Everyone sucks compared to us. The True Side documentary, they should have gone the other way. They should have been like, they weren't, they didn't show where we were really harsh. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't show our true nature. No, but that that would just create more uh, character for the teams. How awesome would that be? Dude, Ramsey is like the funniest guy ever. I wish they showed that more. Whenever he sees Bulba, he just says, Bulba, Darkseer, five-man vacuum, unbeatable. <laughs> But he's very shy to, to other people, though. Is he? Ramses. I guess because I'm friends with Rezo. Yeah, because uh, with players he's fine, but at the moment, like, the talent is not really opening up that much. It's because his English is super limited. It's getting better, it's, though. I was going to say, it's not that bad. I remember times where, where Virtus Pro was, like, denying interviews, like, no, we don't speak English, <laughs> even though you know that no one and uh, no one does, and Lil does as well. But Ramsey speaks English as well. Very poorly. Well, you can hold a conversation. Yeah, okay. Back to this game, though. Sorry, yes. We got LFY. They uh, went through the Earthshaker, the Age of Deparation. We have seen quite a bit of Age of Deparation, actually. DDC hero. The Ice Cream Man himself. The Ice, ice Cream Man himself. But I re I'm really liking it. It's been uh, it's been working out quite well. Tinker, by the way, got banned out previous game. Yeah. Big this time. Tinker is the counter, by the way, to... What is that hero called? Terrorblade. All right. I Tinker's don't think we're going to see Terrorblade this yep. game. No. You definitely will not against a Tinker. Tinker is the hard counter. You do not like playing uh, Terrorblade against Tinker. Just because you can't ever push into Aghanim's laser. What do you do? All your all your illusions die in one rocket laser. Yep. I really like the bands of IG. They're like previous game. Who was the problem? Batrider was a problem. Night Stalker was a problem. They're banning, and then they ban Pugna, the Atos carrier. <laughs> yeah, because that, that item, we don't want to see it. <laughs> I really like that ethos. So Zeus uh, gets banned as well. Uh, we've seen a, a few Zeus's in Flame. Oh, actually give me the storm. Zeus. You want to see the storm? 
Not right this, now. This because you're gonna get AM'd. And there's already an Earth Spirit. He's very isn't Sora very annoying to play against an Earth Spirit? Yeah, but that's life. Alright. They go for oh, Puck. Oh, they take instead. Puck instead, yeah. Uh they ran Puck on the off lane so far. So that's an in flame Puck, I would imagine. Does Puck have three arms? Four. He has four arms. Actually, six. Uh, well, I guess nah, those are legs. It. Yeah, but look at look at the toes. The toes are like fingers as well. I mean, those are. I guess a claws. I guess no, but he has got four arms. Indeed. Puck's gross. That's he's all a, I'm gonna say. He's a fairy dragon. What do you want? It's not a he. It's a fairy dragon. Mm. Yeah, that's true. All right. What do you think, IG? They need. They can take their five hero right now. What do you? What say you, Shiver? If you go for your five hero, I mean, Puck or uh, Rubik, maybe. <laughs> you want to go something for uh, for Q? I, mean, they, I would say they take Rubik or Void here. They've played a Visage earlier this tournament. They've also played a Rubik though. Like, like it's a it's a good hero for Q as well. But why would you pick your five here, by the way? What's uh, the reasoning behind that? Why? Shut up! Shut up! Uh, so the reason why you take your five here is because you know what your mid core is, you know what the two supports are on the other side, and you've picked up your four. You don't want to reveal anything until you at least see uh, the carry on the other side before you know what your offlane is, so that you can give your offlaner an advantageous matchup. Because okay. ideally, in a, in a world, you want your offlaner to match up well against their carry. At least that's what IG thinks. That's what I've picked up on in their drafting pattern. That's why, you know, you see the Terra Blade, you wait, and then you pick the, you pick the Legion at the very end. Because Legion is very good against Terrorblade, right? Anytime Terrorblade tries to push or you're in the laning phase, you just use your overwhelming odds. Fantastic. That's what I gather from IG. I don't know if it's like ideal, but it seems to be like their their pattern, if that makes sense. So this is the eighth game that LFY play. Monet has played seven different heroes so far, including the sniper. Beast. Beast. This is the first sniper they pick as well. Peep it. Why Sniper, though? Uh, I think it's really good against Earth Spirit, Tinker, and Shadow Shaman. If you think about the way that Shadow Shaman functions, drop wards. Gotta get close to use Shackle. Gotta get close to use Hex. Uh, just spray spray bullets everywhere. Hurricane Pike away. I'm surprised about that Legion pick, though. I really thought this was going to be a Void or... I thought this was going to be a Void game, just because it works really well against the rest of the heroes on the side of LFI. I guess they want to go back to their comfort zone. Isn't also Legion Commander pretty good against Sniper? Elsie's okay. You can jump him, jewel him. You can't really do much. I mean, ideally the Sniper, though, is playing the range game against these heroes that don't have enough gap closing. Like, that's the part that I was a little bit weirded out about. At least this time there's no Dazzle to, uh, to mess up the jewels. Yeah. So that's uh, that's already an upside for XXS. LFI, though, is going to have the last pick. Yep. So... Looking for... This sniper can go anywhere. This puck can mid? go anywhere. I guess, yeah. They could That's put true. puck off lane, sniper mid. And then they could pick up something like Dro safe lane. Isn't that very squishy? Shiver, that is incredibly squishy. But at the same time, you would have three really strong lanes. Because you could just send puck plus... Um, puck plus Earthshaker into the off lane. Mm. I guess that means that you can also delay the Tinker's boots of travel and you can yeah. end it fairly early. They actually, uh, IG ban out the Void themselves. So they don't want to deal with that. I would like a frontliner for, uh, for LFY, but if you're asking me to, to predict a draft, uh, to predict the fifth pick again for LFY, I just, I have no clue. They have picked so many different heroes. I don't know. They're like, at the, at the moment for me, like, they're the miracle team. L -L and I don't mean the player, I just mean... Just Bloodseeker. I was gonna guess Spectre. For LFY. Or for, for IG. IG. And for LGD, I said Dro. Yeah. Was a possibility, but... I don't, it really depends on where we expect people to go, right? I mean, Super can play Sniper, sure. And then we're looking for a different Monet hero. Hmm. That's odd. But like Super's played so many different heroes as well. He could just go off lane darts here or something. Oh, they take Life Sealer instead. So it is a mid it is a mid sniper. 
Oh yeah, and I was wrong with uh, Monet playing uh, seven different heroes. This is his eighth different hero. He has not played a single hero. The same. He hasn't played Life Stealer. He has not played Life Stealer, and he hasn't hadn't played Terror Blade yet either. So this is eight games, eight different heroes for him. Life Stealer has felt like a really mediocre hero. Why? You can get in your face. I saw DC play it, but maybe it was just because they were outmatched in terms of skill. But Actually, doesn't Bloodseeker kind of counters Lifeseeker a bit already? Bloodseeker does okay, but it's it's who gets the jump first, right? If you look at the pure disable aspect, LGD this time are heavily in favor. Yeah, but Bloodseeker just has to rupture Monet and then he walks away. But the hope is, the hope is that the Puck jumps on the Bloodseeker and they bomb him. I guess so, he's not alone. That helps. You're never alone in Dota Shiver. You've got wow. four friends with you. You've Don't not, make them you've, enemies. You've not been in my games yet. <laughs> Shiver's one. playing 1v1. 1v9. <laughs> 1v9. That's me. All right. I do I do like LFY's uh, draft. But again, I'm not sad about IG's draft either. Previous game, I said I like their draft a bit more. Mm -hmm. This game, I feel like they are going to take a while to get online purely because of the Tinker. Yeah. But OP's Tinker is very OP. Like, it's a signature hero. He is very scary. It's a signature hero. It is. So this time you're gonna go with, uh, what? You're gonna go with IG again? If I if I look at just the drafts, I would want to go with, uh, with IG. Because but of this OP tinker. Result. Because of, well, no, because I know I just looking at the draft. I can't mm. think about who's playing what. Because no matter how OP tinkers, uh, how OP OP tinker is, I think that uh, that we're gonna see. A very scary puck. In flame, previous game, he got me. Uh, so you think LFY then? I think LFY is going to win this, yes. Okay. I will say I agree with you completely. I feel like LFY is a better draft. Hey, hey, Despite hey, OP's OP tinker. My assistant camera doesn't work, it's very sad. Apologies in advance for my camera. <sighs> Shiver, you're making me real sad right now. Yeah, I'm making me real sad right now. That's more important there. All right. Oh, apparently Lil is playing Earth Spirit right now, by the way. And oh, is losing. he? And they're losing. <laughs> Dude, I'm uh, telling you. He's the one that, so he's the one that calls it. <laughs> I mean, this was this was a couple of months ago, so he might have changed his mind. But uh, let's, see. let's see if LFI can make something happen. We got Monet on the life stealer. Afu playing Earth Spirit, or Shaker, rather. We got DDC playing the Ancient Apparition. And they're all rotating mid under the cover of a smoke. And they're going to find... Uh, well, perhaps gonna find Q on the Shadow Shaman for IG, and uh, Burning will play Bloodseeker this game, but they both are just fine. OP will play Tinker. Uh, we got a bit of a uh, skirmish on the bot lane, but on the Earth Spirit for IG as well as XXS on his Legion Commander once more. We got Inflame playing the Puck, and a Super on the Sniper. And that is everybody in this game. Game two of the series. We'll see how this works out. We have a bit of a lane swap going on. Uh, they didn't want to deal with the dual lane. Uh, what's this? Ooh, Fisher. Can't pass there. This camera is going to be... This is game. Apologies in advance. It's okay, Shiver. Don't ever apologize for anything you do. Sometimes I feel like I should. Nah, just flame other people. That's not, that's not the way of Dota. Don't, don't promote that, please. Guys, if anything doesn't go your way... It's not your fault! It's not your fault. <laughs> There's always somebody else. Oh, in flame! Oh, jeez! He jumps just in time, but that was very scary. Q is is doing a lot of work here on this bottom lane. In the meantime, in the middle lane, uh, we have... Uh, this is so cool what out. they're doing. But who's doing? They're He's blood raging Q, so that his ether shock's dealing like 160 damage. Jeez. This is uh, like look at him, boom, yep. blood raged, and he's pinging it. He's like, This sucks. <laughs> I don't want to be in this lane anymore. Can we he's swap? Like, Come on, dude. Oh, please don't do this. Is, uh, is uh, also having a tricky lane, though. He's against uh, ancient operation and a life stealer. How should this lane go? Oh, wait a second, hold that thought, please. Baboka's getting peep, but he can still roll over the fissure, so he's okay. Okay, talk to me about this top lane. Uh, I mean, as long as XSS has moment or press the attack, you can't really die, right? Yeah. Like, 
They but he can stay. he can they can cold feed him and then he just press the attacks and runs away. Then they can't kill him. Plus he has a TP queued up too. Like this is really smart. So should they swap lanes? Because they they also can't slow us down. Well, they can't stop him from getting experience, but they can't stop him from getting last hits. I guess he's not getting a lot of farm, so it's it's kind of a trade, and it's a pretty decent trade at that. Like you don't mind this kind of trade. Puck is not getting a lot of last hits either. Yeah, exactly. Oh, shackled from the shadows by Q, and oh, is he's he? Oh, quite he's, dead. he's dead. One more hit. Oh, no, Q is fine. actually very sp not speedy enough. Puck uh, just got boots on the side shot. He's okay. He's just gonna run away. He's fine. Ooh, roly bolly in. I'm with the double damage rune. I'm gonna catch more than you though. That's only a level one bloodthirst. And again, this earth spirit hasn't had the best impact. He's level two now though. So he's got the uh, boulder smash. But the lane is completely pushed in, so if he wants to, wants to do something on top lane, he's gonna have to dive a tower, and that's never great. Yeah, he's just gonna pull the weight. This is really smart. Baboka Earth Spirit knows what to do. It felt like when he was playing Oracle, he didn't really know uh, where to go exactly, but this game around, he feels a lot more comfortable as Tinker. Yeah, you can't escape that one. There's a Fisher Afu making sure that he. Has to OP. run the long way around, OP, getting some rockets out, but the first blood still goes the way of Super. Yep. And Sniper, notoriously decent against Tinker, just because you can spam that shrapnel. And you've got that range to work with, so whenever uh, the Tinker tries to run up on you, you just you walk back an extra step. You've got more range to work with as Earth Spirit completely going to whiff, make Super go around, but... He doesn't have boots, though. Yeah, this is... He might actually be dead because Earth Spirit does have boots. He can get oh. in front. Q's coming too. Yeah, he's got the shackle available. Might as well. Let's hit him a couple of times. Why not? He's got Boulder again. Oh, teleport in. It's not going to be in time to save a sniper. But Boca still... Oh, actually. <gasps> get him. Fisher took it first. Hit him. Well, one for one. It's still a trade in favor of IG. Get in the mid there, getting super. But at the same time, OP has had just had like a free lane and it took Sniper forever to die, so you miss like a wave and a half. Not the, f not your favorite thing to ever happen if you're a. Uh, if you're LFR. Yeah, or your Sniper more specifically. Sniper fans unite. There's no such thing. What? I love Sniper. Alright. Even when. Even that phase where Valve shipped him and he was just the worst. Oh, he was ah. so good. You were a bad mid player if you couldn't solo kill somebody at level 2. As a sniper? Yeah. You sucked. I, I sucked. Like if I didn't die mid against a level 2 sniper, I knew that guy was bad. Well, well luckily we are no longer in that era. Unluckily. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we, we are uh, seeing a smoke. DDC and Aku coming around the corner to see if they can do anything about this farming bloodseeker. Burning is having a fun time. He's on top of the net worthless. He's gonna get fish though. And oh, the he's gonna get gonna cold feet as well. Gets the silence off, but uh, oh, actually still clips the puck. Doesn't matter though. Still ends up dying. And Shadow Shaman gets oh, blocked as well. Another cold feet. Another cold feet and another kill. This time Afu gets it. Nice rotation. This is just two supports rotating. And in the meantime, Super is able to still farm. The Kruger might be in some trouble. No, Baboka is not seeing it. A chilly shoe indeed. Everyone got frozen there. Let's see if we can get Super. Get the roly boly on and Sniper should drop. The chase is uh, on. He gets, he's yeah, okay. actually gets a shrapnel. He's not okay. Ooh. He's okay. How is he okay? He's got raindrops. Rain oh, drops. this is okay. He's not okay, but Tinker died first. Afu came from the side, <sighs> came from the river, fissured him, and he died first. Shiver. I that told you. I was not. Like, that raindrop saved his life. That's a level 1 rocket. That does nothing. Oi. That's 125 damage that gets entirely negated by that raindrop. He still dies at the end, though. It literally blocked all the damage. <laughs> it actually <laughs> took, like, no damage from... I thought it was a really good rotation from Maboka as well. He was, it was he came sick. from the back, I mean... It's just, they didn't burst him immediately, and at that point... OP was in a really weird position as he gets oh, cold feeted up. Oh, this Fisher and cold feet combination is doing so much work. Takes down OP. He just TP'd there, by the way, too. Oh, hey. That means he has to walk back. He's already very poor. He doesn't have enough mana to get, for a, get a teleport scroll, so he needs some help from his teammate. Yeah, and the wave is pushing in, which means you're going to miss, like, an entire creep wave experience. Yeah, he can lay down some pressure on the tower as well. Good news for Q, though. He can get some experience. He's level 3. Oh, oh at bottom. Monet. Gotta run. He infests in a creep. Uh, the creep is running! 
Creep friend. Creep is dying. Get out of there. Oh, teammate shows up. Fisher is too scary to, to uh, continue to chase. I mean, the cold free procs, the moment you go too far, you're dying. So, one is okay. LFY is doing really well this game. And it's not because of the pox that I thought was going to be the, the main player. Yeah. Um, it's because of the it's like, support combo. It's because of the support combo. It 100% it is. I've not seen an ancient apparition this useful ever. Because <laughs> most of the time when you play AA, the way that you think about that hero is other people set up for you and you just fire ulti from halfway across the map and treat. Yep. If you remember, it was like Cloud9 when uh, out AUI, like the original iteration, mm -hmm. and he would just sit in trees at DAC, fire off ultis at max distance. That's what I think of when I think of Ancient Apparition, not this like roaming beast that DDC has become. Super aggressive. I'm putting all my eggs in the DDC basket. Forever. I mean, he's the star player of the series so far completely. Like, yeah. He walks around the map, cold that. feeds people. They're just like, why is an AA here? He's like, I'm not sure, but you're dead. <laughs> And especially with the Fisher as well, I mean, these two can can just do so much together. And on top of that, they have a team that, like, Sniper, Lifestealer, Proc, they don't really need that much assistance. Yeah. I mean, the more that I watch this, oh, my team. Uh, in flame, can he get out? I don't think so. He's silenced. Uh, he's trying. No, not gonna happen. He got kind of he far. Got, he got kind of greedy. Yeah. He went places. But the more, I, I mean, I was wondering why this LFI team was having so much success. Yeah. I haven't had the best chance to watch them in this tournament especially. But now that I'm actually getting to cast a series of theirs, I'm getting a better sense of what's going on. And I'm starting to notice, like, this support duo is just their beast. It's just got here. Yeah. They they accomplish so much on the map. I mean, to be fair, they do get the right hero. So it helps that, you know, that, that kind of helps that they have this great synergy with the two heroes. But this is what this was their plan all along. This was their first two picks. This is like we're getting ourselves an Earthshaker and an Ancient Operation, and we're gonna own the lanes. Yeah, and so far it's just it has really worked out. Like this A, normally a hero that gets really far behind in levels, perfectly fine. Earth Spirit or Earth Shaker's got Tranquils, and meanwhile this Earth Spirit, you haven't really felt his impact too much. No. So what what does IG need to do? do they need what do they need to change to to stop this? Because they're, they're going again. This time it's uh it's an Earthshaker and a sniper going for a smoke gank. They're they're going for the, for the spirit. The stun is there. He can still roll away though, but he's taking so much damage. He's already dead. Never mind that. He's already dead. He's been peeped. Definitely peeped. He's been peeped. They found him. Oh, they saw him. and the stack. Super will take that. I think Lady Commander, if he, if he knows this is happening, he can actually still do something against it, but it might be too late. Definitely. Oh, he wants to nuke this so bad. It's too late. Oh, the, the majority's already. At, uh, all right, Shadow Shaman takes it. There's like a few left. Take the crumbs. Oh, Boulder in. Goes for the jewel on the sniper as well. Is there any backup? They're trying to take down this Legion Commander, but Sniper is the one to die first. No jewel damage though, and this Dream Coil is doing some work as Monet comes in. One already down. That's an Earth Spirit dead. Teleport out from Bloodseeker successful. Shadow Shaman does drop, but the rest of IG is backing up. They got the sniper, sure, but their two supports fall and their map control on the top lane uh, goes away a bit as well because LFY can just continue taking the lane while well, the rest of IG yeah. has to flee. I'd really like Afu to TP bottom right now and take that farm just because he knows that not a lot of heroes can get down there. As so many of them rotated up to top. Q's teleporting bottom to take the farm. Yeah. I mean, this Shadow Shaman just made it to level 6, so he finally got, to, got his ward. Maybe we'll see some towers dropping. Towers haven't dropped at all yet, by the way. We're at 10 minutes into the game, and it's just been kills. Nothing more. This mid tower's really low, though, just as a result of how this game's gone. Mm -hmm. And they're going to rotate all the heroes here. You've got two core heroes here, your one and your two position. This is a heavy commitment for this tower. But it's well worth it. We've talked about at length, ad nauseum, how often uh, you need to be able to take this mid tower. Yep. It's going to allow you to take a lot of control in this game. It's more important than the other side towers. Meanwhile, this mid tower on the side of uh, LFI, perfectly full. They're going to be quite happy about that. And now you can rotate the life sealer down there. And he's been useful. He's going to get ruptured here, but doesn't quite have the TP yet. Now, but you see how careful Burning is. He does not want to stand there and, and do any damage. It's just too scary. So yeah. just, that's a ruptured. Well, obviously, he has a fairly short cooldown. He just ruptured for sick. rupture's sake. Yeah. I mean, he stops Monet from farming a bit. Yeah. And up at top. Dreamfo coming out. And the Ice Blast as well at success. I don't think there's a way out of that one. 
No, what a combo. Woo. I yeah. mean, DDC. DDC once again. The roaming AA. Hey, yeah. Just knows where to be every time. All right, so so back to what IG needs to do here, because there's, at this point in the game, LFY is, is, is walking away with this. So how is IG going to stop the bleeding? Mm, I think they're still okay. Like, All at right. the end of the day, you've still got a tinker that can just march people back. And there's not a whole lot that you can do about that. Like, the gold lead isn't insane, even though the, sc the score is 10 to 4 and there's some tower disadvantage. It's not completely undealable. I know I said that in the last game, even though things look dire, but, you know, you gotta lie to your audience. <laughs> Tell them there's a chance, even though there's not. But in this one, there yeah, actually is that a point, chance. In the previous game, there also was a chance. Mm -hmm. But they just didn't play as well after as they, they could After they went up that hill and gave that Medusa the dual kill, I was like... Okay, that, yeah. Eh. That was kind of the nail in the coffin. Not that much chance after that. Three heroes of LFY on this top lane. There's an Earth Spirit and a Bloodseeker. And they're kind of unsure if they can farm this. They see the sniper, but they do not see in flame, nor did he see. Uh, they will see it soon though, because the Ice Blast is going to come from an angle uh, that they are knowing that it's, uh, it's going to be... Oh, the sure doesn't hit, but I think that should still be a kill. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they know then that the AA is top. They're gonna oh. rupture the sniper. Sniper is in a lot oh, of trouble. The jewel is going out as well. Jewel damage going the way of the Legion commander. Finally, I'm surprised he just stayed up there. Yeah. Puck still gets the kill on uh, Maboka. DDC. He's thinking about going back in. He gets the cold feet proc on the Tinker. A fool is gonna finish him off. Oh man! Look at that combination. Is sick. And we're we're gonna see it a lot more. I think. Well, you do have to have cores that can be left alone. So it depends. I guess it depends on the plan of yeah. your game. Lifestealer just, during this entire time, is just farmed. Oops. He's level 11 now. He's the highest net worth on the map by quite a bit. Because he's just had this time. His team has been creating a lot of space. They've been taking towers together. He sacrificed a little bit of his game to open up his snipers. Because especially when you take this mid tower, you no longer have to go there. Because the wave just keeps pushing in by itself. So it's made it so that he hasn't had a lot to do in, in mid. He's going to shrapnel. Lay down the ulti as well. Shouldn't be enough. Not nearly to kill this uh, legion. But that was mildly annoying. Ooh, shackles coming up, maybe. Yeah, it's still there in time. The damage from the wards is there as well. He did turn his armor down his time, and he gets infested in a crit. He's fine. He's got rupture though. Uh, on this, on this blood seeker. Uh, yeah, but are they going for that? Run creep. <laughs> I mean, he's he's fine. There's something just so funny about you know a creep just booking it. <laughs> it's the it's the running motion, I'd say. He does look like he's actually fleeing the scene. Yeah, he's like, get out of here. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Oh, and then he just got killed. And then he just, uh, yeah. I mean, he was just a vessel after all. And when they just continues farming, That's why not? That's brutal. He was just a vessel. <laughs> Is that all you saw him as? Shoot. Well, I think that's how Monet saw him as. Monet I'm not sure he's care. grateful, but it's not, doesn't change that he's just a vessel. You gotta remember all the creeps you kill to further your own cause. It's just... You trauma if Creep you lives matter. Like Let's not go there. <laughs> o overall, though, LFY is doing really well. And that rotation, there were three people there to try and kill that life stealer that was by himself, and they could not do that. Yeah. I mean, if you don't have the blood seeker there, to ru even even if you get the rupture off, at some point if he invests or rages, it's all for not. You gotta, yeah, you gotta wait for the rupture to. After and they were so scared as well, they could have just sat there with the creep wave, but they didn't know where the rest of LFY was, so they didn't want to try and, uh, and chase that. I'm sure you're going too far. So, for XSS right now, he's got his blink dagger. You want to start trying to rack up some dual damage, but at the same time, you don't want a repeat of what happened earlier, yeah. where you won one duel, but then your entire team died, including your, including your tinker. So does that mean that we're going to see him be a lot more passive, you think, compared to the previous game? Or just focus on farming maybe a bit more? I don't know. This is this is a really weird game because pretty much everyone from IG is farming right now. And you don't typically see something like this. Like, normally somebody's active on the map, right? Like, somebody's yeah. making something happen. Or you're creating space by trying to do something around the map. Create some pressure, get some wards down. But, like, as I see it right now, everybody's farming. You can't really have that. Somebody's got to make something happen. Uh, wards from Shadow Shaman already used to try to take down Afu, but in comes in flame, gets a silence off. He's taking a lot of damage himself, though. He might be okay, but oh! What? Q gets a kill still in the end. All and he that kills himself. All that to save uh, an Earthshaker. I mean, Earthshaker lives. Yay! 
<laughs> you looked over, you're like, that's good? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah. kind of. <laughs> no, that's, I mean, that's not, a, that's not a good trade if you're a puck, especially like if you used your dream coil as well, but... They use wards, though. Wards have did. such a long cooldown. Like, yeah. puck's coils up by the time he's up. And 30 short seconds. They forced the rotation as well. I mean, there were four people there taking him down. That means that the rest of the team is uh, is not there. It's, yeah. it's just farming. An LFI, 3k gold lead. This team is looking pretty insane right now. They're going to be, what, 6-8-0 if they win this? If they if LFI wins this, they're going to be 8-0. <gasps> and they are, at the moment, they're the only team left in the competition, I believe, that is undefeated. Ooh, Puck! Tries to get himself out. They got and duel. And the silence is there, but the duel should still happen. And oh, what? Oh, he's, he's so oh, dead. Yeah, he's visible. There was uh, the blood seeker helping. Out. I thought it'd be so cool if, for some reason, he just like outran and he got the face shift off. What if he blinks? Yeah, this Earth Shaker and Life Seeker were looking for uh, success, but they can't find it. Long gone. All right, that's the second time that Inflame dies. This Inflame puck is actually. Not having as much impact as uh, as I thought it would. So it was so hard for him to have the, the same impact though that he had uh, as yeah, that okay. bat rider. That is, that that's is what true. you're comparing yeah, it to. I, I mean, that is that is true. I am comparing it to the bat rider. So that's, there's that's not a lot of off players that have that kind of yeah. <laughs> he like a nine minute atos. I'm I, actually the fact is I'm just missing the atos. Oh, here we go. Op gonna get gone on by the sir shaker. Yep, they get him too then. Oh, and they find burning. Oh, this is a very, very costly gank for IG. They used the rupture, but they, they didn't even need to chase him. Oh, top, top lane. Jewel coming out. That's an ancient depression. Oh, this is the first time the GDC dies. I, this is the first time the GDC dies. I was actually thinking he was going to get away. Uh, this is the first uh, time he dies in two games. In two games, yes. That's, that's crazy. Takes like... And he still stopped the dual gemmas from going through. Yeah. That's like 15 minutes of combined game time. He's died once as a five position support. And he creates space for LFY to push mid. Once yeah, exactly. Super. It's not even like a pointless death. No. Nope. They ganked him because they couldn't really do anything about this. They can't really push as up at top in flame. Gonna go for it. They do get that kill and they also lose Q as Afu. And look at this farm on the warts. Yeah. That's why Sniper. Yeah. And Afu once again, he's pinging. He wants to go for it. They don't have the Echo Slam, but they definitely don't need it to kill OP, who doesn't have the boots to travel quite yet. He's not, he's not uh, going to be in time. Yeah. Oh. Just a little bit late. I think it's time for the Life Seal to pop out and push out this bottom wave. Yeah, get the farm. There's uh, two more towers on the map left taken down. Yeah. Do you feel like Elfly need to, need to apply the... They start applying pressure, more pressure on the side of the map of IG, or are they okay like this? Like, in terms of late game potential, are they good? I mean, in terms of late game potential, they have a sniper and a life sealer. So, so they're perfectly good. fine. Plus, their, their cores are really farmed, and I'd say that they have the more effective supports. Yeah. Like, they have Earthshaker and AA, who I think scale very well as supports, because your AA Ice Blast just gets better as the game goes on, right? And Echo Slam is never bad. Yeah. Meanwhile, Earth Spirit, I mean, we've kind of talked about how this hero feels really weak lately. Yeah. Like this is a 145 Earthshaker who, I mean, aside from like the beginning of the game, hasn't had too much impact. Like there's never been a moment where I've heard like, Boboka, you know. Yeah, that, I mean, that's, he's supposed to be really good on the hero and I'm sure he still is. It's just the hero is not as good anymore as uh, Ursh, uh, is dead. Very dead. Rupture again, it doesn't matter. <laughs> It's a bit it's a bit of a sap rupture as well. If you know the life seeder is just, you know, hitting you. And you're just like, well, he's, he's I, I guess. <laughs> Burning yeah. does it out of spite every time. Yeah. I, I started to realize that now. He's not doing it because he thinks it's good. He's doing it because why not? Because he can. Because he can, Cheever. It's like I need to do this for my own sake. So what does it what does the Bloodseeker need? What does Burning need to be the Bloodseeker that his team needs him to be? I mean, he's going for Halber to counter this uh, Sniper oh. and this Life Stealer, but you're not too happy about that as, once again, Q goes down. Yeah. He does make sure that the tension gets uh, taken away from the Tinker, so Tinker gets out. Yeah. And up at top, they did shove in the wave, but... Like, none of these things are leading to anything for IG. They're just kind of getting picked off around the map, non-stop. I think they're maybe hoping. Either. Yeah, maybe if they just farm, they're hoping that something opens up around. Look the map. at the scan. This is perfect. 
Elf wide, they know like there's people missing on the map and there's nobody farming top. Something's up. They scan. Two people were sitting behind waiting for someone, but uh, I like that I look know. that you just like took your hands. Look here, like that is insane. I I just you know that's something like the awareness of LFY. It's just they know. Yeah, it's pretty. It's honestly insane. I'm I'm not even giving them enough credit for the type of game that they're having in the last two. Like in the IG game, I was in the last IG game. I was hoping that they had, uh, you know, IG was gonna pull off something, but LFY is just playing too clean right now. Yeah, they're playing. Really well. Yeah, Afu just gonna look for it again. If Burning dies to this a third time in a row in the same way, Ooh. like that would be so frustrating. He's gonna get gone on. Oh, and a old coming as well. Why not? DDC takes the kill. It's another time when Bloodseeker's down. Uh, they do get the jewel off. This is Monet in a lot of trouble. The wards get dropped as well. They really want this guy dead. Oh, he misses the echo. Oh, that's he messed up. He messed up. He didn't blink before echoing. There's no jewel damage though. Oh, poor at least, DDC. At least the jewel damage uh, is fine. That's gonna be DDC. Okay, he's okay. He's fine. DDC, watch. Yeah, he's okay. They lo they lost their life stealer. Regardless, that was uh, pretty fa pretty painful. But XSS doesn't get extra jewel damage, so he's still sitting on the twenty. Could have could have been great if that echo slam actually hit IG. Uh, rare mistake. They still lost two though. And they, they dropped the wards. The, yes. So even if we check the fight recap, it's like, it's, it's relatively even. It doesn't change too hard. I mean, in terms of XP, it goes in favor of LFI. And the gold is pretty negligible at this point. Mm -hmm. Like, you're still losing Burning every opportunity <laughs> that he's alive. This he is just dies. This, he's just having a really rough game, and are, and are they focusing him specifically more than, than anybody else? No, they they're just not find even him. focusing. They're him. just finding him. Yeah, he just because he's farming. They they don't really know what to do. We talked about it like. And they find him again. They start yeah. him up. They drink call him up. He does have the blade mill active, but it doesn't. They matter. don't care. Well, There's that spite rupture. <laughs> <laughs> he does the infesto. Actually, jewel up on puck and puck. Jewel damage is hard of access as finally he gets some um, Monet in a lot of trouble there. The shackle coming out as well. He does not have anything available. Well, the stick charges he can't get out because he was shackled. OP taking a lot of damage and going down to this Earthshaker. There's four dead. Q running away, but I don't think it's going to matter at all. Afu is here and he gets another kill with one hit. It's Super that actually takes it. Double kill for him. Team wipe. That's worth it, even if you do give up two cores for that. Oh, that was well worth it. But they don't take anything in return for this for it this time. Like then, there's not going to be a tower pushed in or anything like just that. Just a massive gold lead. Just a massive gold lead. We yeah. can see that in the gold change as well. Okay, here's the problem right now. All IG, right. how many times have you seen them just farming? Nobody's really creating space on the map. The Legion, remember I said once he gets his blink dagger, he should be doing something. Yep. Everyone's just farming though. Yeah. When you just farm and nobody shoves in the lanes, everyone's just farming. What ends up happening is they just make invasions once in a while. You know, they just raid you. Yeah. You've got to play reactively you try to go there maybe you get a kill but by that time you've already lost two heroes if the rest of LFI came over which they did this time around you know they just wipe your team you're just sitting ducks at this point that's what it feels like you're sitting ducks and burning's probably thinking to himself i'm really close to this sanj so yeah. let me just farm this jungle but this is how he's died like Multiple four consecutive times, times. Uh, he's been trying to farm yeah. the sanj and finally he gets him more out of the passive gold than anything but Waiting for the talisman of evasion. I don't know if it changes the landscape of the game for him to have a halberd. Like his team needs to fight for him to do anything, because his tinker is not getting enough farm on the map to really justify not really participating either. Like he's the one shoving in the lanes, but the rest of his team isn't doing anything out of it. When the lanes are pushed in like this, you want to try to create plays, but instead they're just getting picked off as once again in their own jungle. Yeah, I mean the blade mills don't won't matter at all at this point. Yeah, and that's just that's got to be frustrating for IG because uh, it's hard to stop the bleeding when you're playing like this because you don't. It's easy for me to say as a commentator, it's really easy, and that's why you know you can look good this way. But as a player, you're not really certain because you don't have the same vision, you don't have the yeah. same knowledge of things. But well, it seems like from the way that LFY is playing, they seem to not need overall vision over the entire map because they know they just know. Yeah, They're I mean this one ward up there. Got them like two different kills on the Bloodseeker before it finally gets rewarded. And for IG, it's just so many things are going wrong that it's hard to pinpoint for them, I think, right now. Afu looking for OP. Marching Machine's coming out. He knows he's there, but can't get it anymore. Too late. All right, yeah, I like this board as well. Oh, yeah. Poor they IG. Give up on that gank. So, 
Something that uh, that I, I learned mostly actually from the from the documentary of uh, After the Key of Major. Like no matter how grim the game is, you're always looking for looking for ways that you, that you win, right? Yeah. You look for that one fight that you know you can win. What's the one fight that IG know they can? Is it this one? They, I mean, they're smoked up. They're going for this. They're having to jewel up on the Earth Shaker. The Silas coming out there as well, but there's not going to be any help for XSS. Teleporting out. That's the thing that Burning tries to do. He does manage to get out. But Boca, he does not manage to get out, or perhaps he does. He kicks two people. Is still very slow. He doesn't have a boulder available, and he dies. One for one in the end, but that's dual damage. That's dual damage. You trade your very, very low net worth Earth Shaker for worth. a somewhat decent net worth uh, Earth Shaker, Simon, Earth Spirit in the first place. But still, it doesn't really move the needle that far, right? All right, so so this one game that, that IG is looking for, there's one where, where they have their power peak. Like, when do they have their power peak? When... Tinker has Ags, maybe? Alright. We have not seen a lot of uh, action from the Tinker, apart from him pushing the wave by burning. burning. Or maybe? There he gets the, he gets the rope drop. Jeez. Maybe this time. a lot of hits. There we go. Yes, finally. Tinker gets a kill in the puck as well. Now there's Life Seeder. Oh, he's really lonesome. far from his team. Yeah, and he's all alone. And he's very, very, very... He's... Oh, <laughs> he's fine. That was never worth He actually got the kill on XXS. How does that even happen? The jewel didn't <laughs> last long enough. Got to keep my hands on the keyboard. And Boboka died. Oh, jeez. How does it that even happen? I really thought he was dead. His team was there very fast. Yeah, and Afu has that gem. Looking yep. for D-Wards. That arm to toggle at the end. Whew. That's a beast life stealer. He's got Deso, S and Y, Armlet. Mm -hmm. Do not mess with him. Even with these blade mills, it doesn't change too much. They're gonna get BKBs now, which is incredibly needed, especially against this Earthshaker Puck combination that keeps killing them. And the pressure is on out of Y is uh, making a move on the on those tier two towers. I mean they know they can. Although they've not really done that uh, that much before, actually going for towers before ganks, but since they were there anyway and the lane was in the right position, why not? Yeah, you take what's given to you yep. in this kind of position. And Puck actually takes the 20% magic resist instead of taking the 50 damage, which is really curious. But I guess he, he's not like a real core Puck. Like he's not a one or, he's not a two position, so uh, he doesn't have treads or anything like that. He's quite poor, no veil. Going for the 50 damage at this point probably feels pretty underwhelming. He is just a utility hero there. Yeah. Look at this. They're just walking across the map. Because they know have a, they have a gem, so they don't really need to uh, smoke up for this. No. And burning. Oh, again. <laughs> that jungle's not your friend. Oh. Where's the where's the rupture? Did uh, he got it off again? Yeah, he did get it off. It's just you know he, the, I, the optimistic teleport when there's an earthshaker fish is just to follow that up. He's just like mate. I hope. Oh, you got you got to believe. Oh, my favorite part about these ganks is the the rupture. The rupture that happens. <laughs> The spite rupture? I mean, it, it almost worked that previous time. Yeah, yeah. I say almost, because Monet is, it was, still, it was still fine in the end. And, uh, yeah. Kick coming out. There's uh, backdoor protection is on again, so they don't have the creep wave right now. Yeah, I like that Monet just, you know, he he doesn't get afraid. He starts hitting that tower. Doesn't care. Understands that he's got rage up. He's got an Aegis. His team's going to back him up. They're making this aggressive play, try to break the base. You can open up the map against this Tinker. Tinker doesn't do well when he gets uh, racks. Oh, Shadow Shaman, a little bit in the wrong position there. He's gonna pay for it too. Tower drops. Tower falls and uh, they back off though. Just take shrines. Just back up. Yep. They can even go for Roshan pretty soon again. Like once this Aegis fades, you go for Roshan number two and then you can end the game. Because this Aegis is about to fade. Despite having a gem on LFI, there's still some nice wards up for IG, by the way. I just want to point that out. They got uh, they got the Roche pit covered, which probably will be countered against soon, uh, once the uh, once LFI goes for Roche. But they got some deep wards, too, inside the Radiant jungle. That's, uh, that's pretty nice to have. The it's only not problem super is useful, that LFI though. is in the Dire jungle. The yeah, whole time, LFI so just... <laughs> they've made their nightly raid of burning in the jungle. Yeah. Burning has died six times, zero kills. It's, it's yeah, it's having such a rough game. 
he just keeps going back to that jungle because he doesn't feel like he has any space on the map to farm. Which is why this Tinker pick, especially second pick, it's a little bit curious. Like, I understand that it's a signature hero, but then you have to pick the rest of your heroes around it. And you don't feel like they did? No. Let's see. There's uh, Baboka. Is he going to be able to make it out of this one? Ah, Fu teleported in. He does not like this this Earth Spirit. And uh, make sure that he dies. A lot of Yule Scepters. There's just a lot there. of Yule Scepters. <laughs> <laughs> there was one from the Earth Shaker, one from the Earth Spirit himself. Nice skill to get the ward as well. Why not? And uh, Now their vision game yeah. is rough. And their vision game is very rough. The lanes are pushed out, though. The Tinker is doing some work, it's just he's not able to be there in the fights. They just need to delay this game so long. When OP gets his BKB, which is apparently his next item, and then when he gets his Hex, that one, then, then they have a little bit more chance. I mean, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> I mean, it takes a while, but they are going to try to delay the game. Ooh. But he's not even going for a Hex, he's going for a BKB versus... They're going to run into the jungle once again. Yeah, the Rupture goes off, though. It's not enough. Super can just stand there and hit. Now Burning is the one in trouble. He got the Blade Blue on. Monet's on the chase. Uh, is he going to be able to get the Open Wounds off? Yes, he is. Yule's up in the air on the Shadow Shaman from the Earthshaker in the meantime as well. Monet's just looking for the target, and uh, yep, he gets that as well. Shadow Shaman lives, gets his wards off as well. So that means that uh, perhaps their racks are going to live a little bit longer. Yep. It's an 18k lead though. They're farming wards. That probably helps a lot too. <laughs> yeah. In building their lead. That's what Sniper's great at. You I just get their shake. Pew pew. They're going to get racks out of this though. Maybe buyback from the Bloodseeker? It's not going to do anything. That's I mean, even if you buyback, you don't have rupture up. That's very fast as well. Oh, here we go. Actually, they're gonna go in for this one. That OP's hurt. in the fight, and that should be dead people on the side of LFY. They get the life seater and the this sniper. Is DDC, last man standing, yules up in the air from the Earth Spirit. There's no way he's getting out of that. And uh, that was the fight. Can we have at least. I wish we had a recap of that, not a recap, but a replay. That was amazing. That was Baboka setting that up. I, I was right like, Baboka, are you insane? <laughs> You just went in, you <laughs> lost Rex, you're gonna all die, and then what? Yeah. He kicks them all, it was a laser too. The, the Tinker laser just hit everybody. Yeah. They all just immediately had like a third health. Bloodseeker just starts chasing everyone. He's gonna pop into this Roche pit, find quickly that there's nothing up. The potential of IG's fight, it, it's definitely there, and maybe that that one fight was maybe the beginning of them making a, a bit of a comeback. They are very far behind still on the gold, but there's already a bit of a drop happening after that one fight. And you already see that they are taking more control of the map instantly. And they got the gem off of that as well. Yeah, Who 20k to 14k. Not that bad. Not bad at all. With the gem on the, on the Earth Spirit, I mean, that's map control gone for LFY. Map you know, is kind of like you sort of lost map control, but at the same time, because you got that set of racks, they always have to shove that midwave in. Yeah. So it, in a way, it is. In a way, it's not as Q gets out. Oh, at least there's no jewel damage. Did he see? He might be able to help. Go! Oh, he still lives. He will still die, but the Legion commander died first. Nice kick away, but uh, there was also a puck on the gem. Oh, and back Burning, going to get gone on too. Yeah, open wounds are there. He has still got the Heaven's Halberd, but that is there. There needs to be a non rage lifestealer for that to happen, and lifestealer is. Uh, oh, he's a beast. He's just a beast. Yeah. Doesn't care whatsoever. He's got a full assault as well. So You so know Burning doesn't have buyback. He probably just hit this Roshan. Can go for the next high ground after that. Oh, lucky LFY. They get Rosh too. So that fight just now. It wasn't really a fight that IG wanted to take. It wasn't really, you know, they went they went for the gank, they found an ancient operation, thought they could get a quick pick off, and then one by one they end up going down because... Because why? I mean, if you really think about it, the way that LFI plays, DDC is never very far from his team. Like, he's not the type of support player that just walks up and dies to do nothing, right? Yeah. Like, when, for example, when he dies at top, it was because the rest of his team's pushing a tier 2 mid. So he assumes that IG is going to respond to the tower, not him. So if you kill an Ancient Apparition in that situation, you're fine, because you know you secured a tier 2 tower for yourself early on in the game. As Lifestealer sits on top of this, T 
TP is gonna get cancelled. They're gonna grab the shrine. Yep. There is uh, an invisible legion commander. He has to be careful. There is a gem on Puck. Puck is uh, is on that bottom lane. But uh, he's not gonna be. Puck's got Lincolns too. Ooh. Yeah, this is getting pretty scary again for IG. One fight and it turns it turns right back around. I really thought they they got a bit of a grip and then and then they 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 let it slip. I mean, they took a fight thinking they had to. You again, uh, what their mistake was was they got a little bit passive. They didn't create any space on the map. They just got picked off on by one of the jungles. So like, we have to get aggressive here. Yeah. Let's make something happen. But it might just be the farm differential, which I'm pretty sure it is. Like, they're just a little bit too under farm to make stuff happen around the map. Yeah, I would think you could just gotta wait until you have the same fight happening again that you just had. As in, you ha you have to wait until LFY tries to push high ground. But perhaps knowing that Roshan wouldn't be too far off, they felt the pressure. And uh, the Aegis is in the hands of Monet right now, so this life sooner is feeling no care. And he's just, I mean, what are you gonna do about this? Yeah, this is. He's got Echo Shells and Lincolns on him too. A lot of negative armor on this tower. It's gonna go down. This is still there, it doesn't really matter too much, I think. So you're just gonna lay down the shrapnel. Getting double Rex is not your favorite play here, is they're gonna pop Fort. Yeah. Possessor, he wants to jump in. He just life sealer is not the right one to go in on. He has that Aegis. They can't take him down twice before his team is there to take care of the rest. That's a hex. You can jump in. Silence. Doesn't hit on the life sealer this time. He gets a rage off as well and actually finds himself burning. He gets out with the help of success. Fisher coming out. It's up too. Afu is already back out. They're and just that, trying that, to secure this Rex right yep. now. And that's already a Shadow Shaman down. He cannot buy back. Oh, nice they disarm each other. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Earth Spirit drops. Rex are down. The two supports not able to, to delay this push. And that's LFY just rotating top because there's not going to be anybody to stop them. The GG gets cold. That's it. 2 0. LFY continue to be undefeated in the group stages of the International 2017. And, and they are making it look easy. This game did not look rough for them at all. They just kept, they pushed in the waves, they kept going to that jungle, the dire side jungle. The same place, I think I saw Burning die the same place like six times. Yeah, he just got picked up over and over again. Yeah. They never let him get online. We talked about how the erupture could be annoying, but you just never felt the impact of it this entire game. No. They had one clean fight in mid where Baboko got that kickoff, he gets a roll, but aside from that, it was pretty much all LFI. I mean, just wow, they, they look so strong. I am really curious to see how they're going to continue doing. Now they have another game today. Versus who? Versus Cloud9. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Cloud9 is not doing too great at the moment. Cloud9 is... That's, so you're putting the best against the group against the team that's doing the worst. Yes. Cloud9 are playing right now, though, so I mean, they could have won. That's true. I don't. We don't know how that's gone. And this would be the ultimate chance for Cloud9 to just say, you know... Redemption. We're Redemption, yeah. We're not to be messed with. Win one game. Okay, that'll do it for us. Yep. It was a blast, Shiver. I'm not sure if I cast any more with you. Tomorrow? Maybe. I think so. I can only hope. The middle game of the day, once more. I think we're having a liquid game. That's our time spot. Yeah. Oh, we get a liquid game too? I can just keep telling liquid jokes. <laughs> liquid analysis. Liquid analysis. <laughs> analysis. Uh, but uh, stay tuned. There's going to be more Dota coming up on this channel very, very shortly. So stick around and uh, yeah, stick around. That's it. Bye-bye.